Hey guys, this is Karan here. I live in Saudi Arabia, studying 10th grade Miyamu International School. Have you ever imagined your life without electricity? Isn't that amazing how dependent we are on electricity to live our own little lifestyles? Let's demystify the theory behind it. When you think of electric currents, think of flow of electric charges and we all know that um, there has to be electric circuits in every electric devices. But before we move on and this um, break down these topics, let's go ahead and uh, learn what we are talking about. The first thing that we'll talk about is electric current. Second thing is ohm. Third thing is combination circuits. The fourth thing is ampere, power, Ohm's law, electromotive force, series circuit, Kirchhoff's laws, parallel circuit, and now here we'll talk about resistance and equal resistance. To understand this chapter, we'll break down little parts of it. Now, the first thing we'll start off is with electric currents, like we said over here. Now, from this point, I want you guys to know that electric charges may flow through a conductor. Hmm. Think about some examples of that flows in the nature. Okay. Now, the first example would be uh, that comes to my mind would be heat will flow through a conductor from higher temperature to a lower temperature, like we discussed in our topic in refrigerator. Now, the second example is you think of water which will flow through a pipe. Now, if there is pressure behind it, uh, only if, if only if there is a pressure behind it, the water will flow. Okay. Likewise, electric charges can flow through a conductor. Okay. Now, when this situation occurs, we call it an electric current. Okay. Now, let's talk about electric current. Now, pu putting this idea into simplest manner, we can know that electric current is the flow of electric charges okay now you know it that if you it, it can be flown through a solid conductor from a positive charge that are fixed to a negative charge which are which are known to be electrons like we discussed in our earlier section and uh, it it basically the charges will flow okay now that only applies to solid conductor now look at this question over here what about liquid solution? So how are the charges going to flow in liquid solution? Well, the answer to that question would possibly be if you have both positive and negative ions, in this case, in liquid solution, uh, positive charges will carry as well as negative ions will carry. Okay? So what happens is that when you have positive ions, and negative ions that is in liquid solution both will flow okay both of them will flow over here now how do we know that what direction are the charges moving over here well it's very simple for this purpose of our discussion it's very simple because if you need to know the direction of the charges wherever which direction is let's consider that what direction is positive ion moving which is basically known as protons right so there is protons and there is neutrons electrons okay so if basically that if you need to know the direction if if uh, electron is moving towards the left okay the proton will move opposite to this direction, which will be the right. Okay? So basically, the answer to that would be the positive ions, which positive current, which is the proton, will move to the direction which is opposite to the 
electrons direction okay let's take a step further and discuss on how to calculate things such as electric current for instance now electric current is basically measured in ampere okay and it's donated as a or amp okay so there is basically two abbreviations for ampere now what is the equation to calculate the electric current well since we now know that electric current is is measured in ampere that means one electric current or one ampere is equal to one times c over second now what does this letter mean let's look at over here one a is equal to one ampere which basically means electric current okay that's what we need to find that's what we are calculating now c over here is basically what we learned from our section one okay basically means column okay now this over here which everyone should know from fundamental physics basically means second okay that means one column of charge flowing past the stationary point in one single second and that what is equal to electric current one interesting thing that happens is that even though a lot of charges may flow through a wire the net electric charge of the wire usually stays pretty close to zero okay but there are still just as many protons that means positive charged particles subatomic particles as there are negative charged particles which are electron which are subatomic particles even while the current flows so this is how the current looks over here basically here we discussed that the whatever to figure out the direction of positive charge subatomic particles it's basically the opposite to negative charge about atomic particles now you can see that the protons which is the positive charge particles are moving to the right so this over here is moving to the right okay and you see the electrons which are moving to the opposite direction of protons okay now one more thing before we end our section is that there's two ways that we discussed in this section that is two ways to view positive electric current now the first way is the direction of the flow of positive charge okay and the second one is the opposite of the direction of the flow of negative charges so basically using these two ideas that are listed over here we can figure out the direction of either uh, two of those subatomic particles.